hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video we're gonna make this awesome uh, e-commerce store by using the uh, elementor pro and the wordpress so let me show the demonstration of the project which we're gonna make in this video so let's refresh this website from scratch and after refreshing you can see that we have this cool uh, animation coming like this and also we have this slider which is sliding from left to right like this so let's move to the next section where we have our slider section where we uh, where you can showcase all your product categories here Okay, so after that year, you can see that we have uh, earbuds, best deals, new releases, speakers and all. And this is slider. Okay, so let's move to the next section, which is your product like this. Okay, so let's move. And also we have our uh, hover effect on these buttons. Okay, so after that, uh, you can see that uh, it has also uh, animation. If I... Okay, so let's move to the next section where we have our this section where you can showcase your, all your products like this and this is a slider also and also when I hover on this you can see that I have this cool effect the uh, image will grow and also the its brightness and uh, all these stuffs are changing like this and also this is a slider and also we have this shop now button uh, we have this hover effect on this button okay so let's move to the next section where we have this type of section and you can see that the image is sticky behind so uh, so uh, i will show you how you can how you can make such type of uh, section by using the uh, elementor pro and also we have this button here okay so let's move, move to the next section here we have our best selling product and you can see that we here we also have our cool hover uh, effect on this okay so let's move to the next section where we have our this section the support section where you can showcase your uh, all your support things here and after that we have our testimonial section so here you can see that we have our client testimonial like this so you can add your reviews in uh, so you can add your reviews in your website like this and let's move to the next section and here we have our client logo section if you want to add your client logos here uh, you can add it here and also when i hover on this we have this cool hover effect on this and also at last we have our footer section where you can showcase all your information like this and here we have the social icons which have cool hover effect like this and also we have our scroll to top button so if i click on this button it will take me to the top and uh, we're gonna build this website from scratch we don't gonna use any pre made template like others Okay, so let me show you one more thing that this website is fully uh, working. So if I click in this and open this in a new tab, so you can see that it will open a product here. And if I go to uh, add to cart, it will uh, add a product in the cart. So if I go to the view cart option or you can go here. So let's go to the view cart option. And after going to the view cart, you can see that we have this in our store. And if I want to update the cart, it will automatically update the cart. Okay, so this website is totally responsive and working also. So if I click on the proceed to checkout, so right now you can see that we have this. So I have not set up here all the WooCommerce things. So you can set up here in this. Okay, so this video is totally focused on the home page. Okay, so let me show you the mobile responsiveness of this website also. So you can see that if I go to the mobile responsiveness part, you can see that this website is totally responsive here also. And also we have our this things also working here and also this menu is totally working here also and all these things are working and you can see that this slider is also working here like this and also we have our this sections are also working and all the uh, animations are also working here and, uh, and after that we have our uh, our best seller product like this and you can see that this section is also working so uh, uh, i mean this website is totally responsive for all the screens you can see that so i will show you how you can make such type of uh, home page using the uh, Elementor Pro and this website is totally made from scratch We don't gonna use any pre-made template like others youtubers. So we're gonna build this whole website from scratch step by step so if you're new to our channel, please like and subscribe our channel and uh, Let's start the video and we're gonna build this from scratch Okay, so you can see that we have our fresh WordPress installation here and if I click here on the home page So you can see that right now we don't have any page here So we're gonna build this page from scratch by using the Elementor Pro Okay, so let me show the themes and plugins which I'm gonna use in this video So for that let's go to the themes first So in, for the themes we're gonna use the uh, extra theme here But we don't wanna import any starter template here Just we're gonna use the theme for the uh, other pages like the product page and the single product page and the uh, other page okay so let me show the plugins which i'm using so let's go to the plugin option and here you can see that we are using the plugins uh, elementor and the elementor pro and and of course the woocommerce okay so after that uh, let's uh, go to the woocommerce and i will give you a csv file which we which you have to import here so these are the dummy products and also i will give you all the uh, images which are used in this website to import okay so you can follow uh, along with me step by step okay so after that we have to go to the import option 
and in the import option you have to just uh, choose the csv file which i will give you in the video description so just choose the csv file and just and then click on the continue and note here you don't have to import the uh, images we have to place the uh, images separately so for that you have to go to the uh, images option so let's go to the images option and here we have to choose the do not import option okay after that we have to run the importer so it so wait for at least 10 to 20 seconds and it will import all your products so you can see that all your products are imported here and it is saying import complete eight products are imported file uploaded okay so let's go to the view product and after going to the view product you uh, you can see that we have all our image uh, we have all our products here okay so right now you can see that we don't have these uh, images here so let's go to the media option and in, and go to the library option and i will give you all the images in the video description so you have to just go to the add new media files and go to here and let me go to my folder and here i'm gonna choose all the images so let's wait for these images to upload and i will get back to this video again okay, so you can see that all our images are uploaded here so let's uh, go to our woocommerce products and here in the woocommerce product we gonna uh, we're gonna choose all this product one by one and we have to just place all the featured image here so just uh, i will show you one step and you have to do that step for all your products so i don't want to make the video long that's why so just you have to go to the set product image so and you can randomly choose any product image from here suppose i want to choose this product image so you can randomly choose any product image because this is a dummy product and all the informations are already here just you have to update this so you have to do this process for all your products one by one so after that you can see that this is uploaded so let's click on this okay so after that you can see that this is uploaded here and if we and if we view this so you can see that we have our single product page which is ready and which is prepared by by using the uh, extra theme okay so we have to just made the home page from scratch okay so in this way you have to just upload all your product images step by step so you can see that all the uh, images are uploaded in the specific products so let's start making our home page from scratch by using the elementor pro okay so after that what we have to do we have to just go to the pages option let's go to the pages option and in the pages option you can see that we have our these dummy pages here so don't uh, delete these pages so let's add a new page here so we have to go to the add new page and here we have to add a new page so let's choose this name home page and after that we have to choose the default template here so we're going to choose the elementor full width and let's publish this and uh, let's wait for it so after that we have to go back and we have to activate some elementor settings okay so after that we have to go to the first let's go to the settings option and here go to the reading option and in the reading option we have to choose our home page from here static page so let's choose the home page so whenever you uh, visit your website from here it will open the home page okay then after that uh, what we have to do we have to go to the elementor go from here go to the settings option and in the settings option okay so in the settings option what we have to do we have to go to the feature option and here in the feature you have to just activate the nested elements activate the uh, and also activate the and if you want to activate these things also just activate the flexible container grid container swiper library and after that uh, uh, if you want to activate this for if you are making this website for a client you can activate this performance plugins uh, things also okay so we are ready to build so let's go to the all pages again and after that let's me open this in a new tab and after that what we have to do let's wait for it to open and after that you can see that we have to go to the edit with elementor so let's start making our home page from scratch by using the elementor pro so let's wait for it to uh, open then after that you can see that so first we're gonna make this hero section and after that we're gonna make this category section after that we're gonna make this make this okay so we're gonna make this step by step from scratch so don't skip any part of the video because this video is very interesting and also we are not using the pre-made template like other youtubers who just come and import from themes we're gonna build uh, we're gonna build all the pages from scratch step by step okay so let's start making our hero section so for the hero section we have to choose a main container here so you can see that we have here two containers one is the uh, one is the uh, main container and uh, the other is the inner container so for that what we have to do we have to just choose the container here so let's just choose the main container here and after that we have to <coughs> choose your size so let me choose the 1400 uh, max width and here we're gonna add some padding so let's add the 80 to the top and 80 to the bottom and also let's add uh, okay so this is done then after that what we have to do we have to just add a, a background uh, for this means the bg color so for that adding to the bg color we have to go to the settings you have to just go to the settings from here and after that uh, this will open the setting go to the styles and here in the background toy background uh, background we have to just add a gray 
to this like this okay so after that we have to just publish this and also what you have to do you have to just go to here and go to the plus icon and here we have to name this bg color okay so let's create it and after that it is created then after that we have to again go to this okay so let me refresh this once okay so now we have to do we have to make this slider here so for making the slider uh, what we gonna do let's add to go to the widget and here we gonna search for this widget slider widget carousel and after that you can see that here we have the navigator so what we have to do we have to just rename this section so let's rename this section hero and after that we have our slider here inside and after that we're gonna choose the one slider at one time because we're gonna design it first and then we're gonna duplicate that so let's go to here and we're gonna choose the one and after that slide and scroll we're gonna choose this one also okay so for the equal height uh, if you want to choose so let's choose this and after that what we have to do we have to go to the carousel go to the advanced and here we're gonna uh, remove all the padding and here also okay then after that we have to go to the slide one so right now you can see that it is boxed but we have to choose the full width option then after that go to the advanced and remove all the padding okay then after that what we have to do uh, we have to choose these images so for choosing these images we have to go to the slide one go to slides and from here choose the background image so let's choose this background image first okay so this is chosen after that we have to choose the center and center and display size would be this okay then after that we have to give some height to this so get, let's go to the layout option and here we're gonna give this height of 400 okay so let me go here and here you can see that uh, okay so let me give this height of 700 okay so you can see that let's give this height to the 600 okay so now after that what we have to do we have to go to the slide one and here go to the layout option here just uh, choose this this and just make this center properly okay so let me add go here and we're gonna choose the two section layout so you can see that this section is automatically centered because we have chosen its main container so this is the main container and this is the two container here in, uh, inside okay so if you want to rename this also you can rename this and let's rename this also right after that we have to go to the left option go to this and remove all the padding go to the right advance and remove all the padding okay then after that what you have to do we have to just add this text here and so you can see that the, here we have this text so if you want to copy this text i could design a brilliant accord statistic okay so we have to just go to the text editor and here we gonna write uh, uh, awesome so we're gonna just uh, enter any random text so let me enter here any awesome website with uh, awesome products so you can name any so here what we have to we have to choose the font color and from here we're gonna choose the poppins font so in the whole website we're gonna only use one font so you if you want to use any different font you can also do that so i'm gonna choose here 500 and after that uh we're gonna add this sound escapes redefined so let me go to this and here we're gonna drag and drop uh, uh heading widget here so here we're gonna add uh, sound uh, escapes sound escapes redefine so let me go here re uh define by any redefine okay so after that we have to go here and uh, let's also choose your font size and we're gonna choose the poppins fonts here so let me choose the poppins fonts and here we have to choose the 700 bold if you want so let's uh, uh increase this font size a little bit so after that you can see that let's keep it uh, 70 okay so this is uh, looking much similar so after that uh, let me uh, make this 65 and after that you can see that we have uh, this little bit higher so let me choose the height here and we're gonna choose this height according to this so let me keep this height to 67 okay then after that we have to add this uh, shop collection also you can see that when i hover on this it has uh, it has some hover effect and also the hover bg color of this so let me go to the widget option and here we're gonna choose the button and let's uh, drag and drop this button here and after that we have to go to this uh, text here and here we're gonna choose uh, shop collection then if you want to add here any link to your website you can add it from here your link okay so right now we are gonna focus on the home page design so let me go here and here you can see that we have to choose the background color to white and this color to the black and also let's go to the typography here we're gonna choose the top and font okay so let me choose the 600 width and after that if you want to increase some font size you can also increase this okay so let me keep this in the 17 pixel 
then after that in the border type we're gonna choose the okay so here in the border area we're gonna choose the 100 okay so right now you can see that we have this padding so let me choose this padding 30 and uh, padding to the left also it will be 30 okay so you can see that this is uh, looking good and right now you can see that we have this uh, arrow also in the button so for adding the arrow okay so let me make this 15 this is a little bit bigger so 15 also okay so you can see that we have this arrow so for adding the arrow we have to go to this and in the icon library you can see that we have so many arrow here if you write here angle so you can find this type of arrow also you can add so much arrow from here svgrepo.com from here just uh, uh, have that uh, SVG which you want to use in your website and just go to the upload option from here and you can choose any custom logo means uh, icon also for your website and after that we have, we have to do we have to go to the left section and here we have to just go to the layout and make the center center and start after that let's put some padding space here I mean so this is space then after that what we have to do we have to just go to the here and we have to choose the hover effect and in the background type uh, we have to choose a color so if you want to choose any black color but we also have the black color below so let's choose this type of black color and let's choose this so when i hover on this it will change its color so this color is little bit visible here we have to choose any effect so i'm going to choose the bob effect so you can choose so much uh, uh so much type of uh, animation here so you can choose any animation which you want here okay so after that uh, this section is ready then after that uh, what we have to do uh, we have to just duplicate this so let's first publish this okay so let's publish this and we're gonna go to this and let's refresh this so after refreshing you can see that our uh, this first section is ready but you can see that this is not looking good because uh, if you go here and here you can see that we have this type of border radius and also we have these spaces here but here we don't have any space so for that what we have to do we have to choose this left then go to this advance and here in the left side we have to give some 100 padding so let me go to the preview option and this is looking good just we have to go to the slide and in the styles and here in the border radius we have to add the border radius of 50 let's publish this once more time and after that go to the headphone 2 and let's refresh our home page so you can see that our we have this cool border radius also and also this hover effect is also working okay and also we have this space so now what we have to do uh, we have to make a two slider more like this so for that we don't want to make this from scratch just we have to go to the slide and here we have to just duplicate this but but if you try to duplicate this from here it will not duplicate it so just choose the carousel option and here from just duplicate this so we only want three slides so right now you can see that and after that we have to go to the settings here let's choose this two and let's pause on our will be stop so this will be uh, infinite scroll and in the navigation we don't want to show the arrows just make it off and here you can showcase all your uh, arrows here we have the dots fraction if you want to show this here below and also we have our progress bar but i will choose the dots option in the pagination so right now you can see that this is outside the slider but here you can see that we have this inside the slider so for keeping this inside what we have to do we have to go to the pagination and here let's choose the white color first right now it is not visible so what we have to do we have to choose the custom position and from here we have to go to the vertical option and we have to just drag and drop this right now you can see that it is there so let me choose this and here we have to just increase the size so it is visible uh, visible so let me choose this to 10 and also we have to add some negative okay so you can see that this is visible so let me upload this to 40 okay so let me publish this again so let's uh, refresh our front end again so you can see that after refreshing we have our slider but right now our slider is totally same so what we have to do we have to just change the content so let's go to the second slider and in the second slider okay so this is our first then let's go to the second slider so here we have to choose this then you can also go from this go to the container and here we have to choose a different image so let's choose this image for this okay so this is chosen now you can see that so let's go to the last slider here and here you we have to again go to this container and from here let's choose a different image so let's choose an image here uh, the image would be okay okay so this is the image 
okay so you, you can see that so right now you can see that uh, I, uh, if i go to our own uh, original website you can see that one section is here and if i go to this you can see that this section is here okay so for that you can do this we have to go to this here and you can see that this is perfectly looking but this is not looking we have to move this section to this side so for that you have to go to this slider this one and go to the layout option and here you will find this reverse column reverse just choose this okay we have to choose this row reverse option okay now after choosing the row reverse you can see that this is working but this will uh, looking like this so for that what we have to do okay so just uh, publish this and let's try it once i think this is uh, working now so let's uh, wait for it okay so after that you can see that uh, if i go to the slider okay so this is perfectly working and also this is working okay so our first section is ready so let's move to the next section where we're gonna make this slider category section so let's move to the next section where we're gonna make this category section so okay so for that we have to go to this and uh, let me do one more thing uh, we have to uh, change the bg color of this so this bg color is a little bit dark as compared to our this website so for that what we have to do go to the page setting and here in the bg color we have to choose a little whiter tone for this so let me choose this whiter tone and let's publish this again okay so let's uh, me refresh it one more time so after that you can see that after refreshing we have this shade but this is not pure white this is a little white so for that let's uh, okay so let's move to the next section where we're gonna build this slider so for building this what we have to do we have to choose this container choose the flex box and after that uh, let's go here here we're gonna give the 60 padding to the top and the 60 to the below okay then after that we have this slider section and after that uh, let's uh, name this uh, uh, categories slider then after that we have to go this here we're gonna let's see here we're gonna choose the uh, 1400 let me see the width okay so 1400 is good now after that we have to go to the advanced remove all the padding and also let's add 60 to the top 60 to the bottom now after that what we have to do uh, we have to add this so for that we're gonna again choosing the widget carousel here which is the slider widget i like to call this slider carousel or the slider so right now you can see that we have one two three four five six at the same time okay so we have to make at least eight so uh, and also if i scroll you can see that uh, two slides are coming at one time so you can choose this here so slides on display we're going to choose the six and for this we're going to choose the two so let's currently make our first slide then we're going to duplicate there that so let's go to the advanced remove all the padding then inside this we have to go to the slide option choose full width go to advanced remove all the padding okay then after that we have to choose the category slider here and here we're gonna make this center and center and also if you want to go to this okay so let's go to this and here uh, we have to just go here and uh, what we have to do we have to just uh, drag and drop a container if you want to drag and drop but i don't want to make this container because it, uh, this slide one is already a container so for that let's go to and here we have to just uh, okay so let's drag and drop an image here so let me choose that image first so let me choose this image okay then after that we have to drag and drop a heading so let's drag and drop this uh, heading let's make this like this and here we're gonna write uh, best deals and go to the style option here we have to choose the black color and after that here we're going to choose the pop-in fonts okay then here we're going to choose the 500 width and also let's increase this font size to 20 at least okay then after that go to the slide one go to layout and make this center center and center okay here we're going to make this to 22 okay then after that uh, we can see that when i hover on this we have this hover effect also this is rotating like this okay so what we have to do we have to just click on this and go to the styles and here in the hover effect we have to just choose this uh, rotate now when you write rotate you will find this option grow and rotate so it will grow and rotate like this you can see okay so after that you have to put some padding here so let me put some padding to this to 30 padding and also we have to add a background color so a little bit darker so like uh, this okay let's choose a little bit darker like this okay then after that we have to also add a back border radius so let me add a border radius of 50 like this okay so right now you can see that so let me do one more thing we have to go to the carousel and here we're going to duplicate this one 
okay uh, four uh, this is five six seven and eight eight times so now we have to go to this and here we're gonna choose the five uh, so it will display the five but here we are displaying the one two three four five six at the time so you can choose uh, how much you want to display here and how much you want to scroll at a specific time so i'm gonna scroll two and i'm gonna display it six times okay so now we have to go to the styles and here just add a gap between this slide so let's make 15. okay so you can see that this is working perfectly now and also this is sliding just we have to uh, replace this uh, icons here one by one so just replace all the icons like this let's replace this icons again here and after that also let's replace this icons so we're gonna choose this random icons uh, over here all of this okay so let's choose this icon again okay and after that let's go to this and here we have these two icon also so let's choose a random icon here also like this okay so just we have to change the content here suppose if i want to write here content uh, you can write here earbuds and you can write it here speakers okay so just you have to change the content i'm not gonna do this because it will make the video long so let's say publish it once so we have not lost our changes if something happened so let's go to the headphone too and here we're gonna refresh our front end after refreshing you can see that uh, uh, let's wait so here we have this slider but right now you can see that uh, we have uh, this so much gap here but we don't have this gap little bit and here we have to add these icons okay so for that we have to just go here and here we're gonna remove the gap from the top like this and also let's go to the carousel option and here go to the content option and here we will go to the uh, navigation and here you will find this so let me okay so let me choose this so for that what you have to do with this is uh, okay so let me go to the styles option here in the navigation we have to increase first this size so it is visible and let's choose the color so here we have and also we have to add a border type solid and also for the border width we're going to choose this uh, one and let's add the border radius of 100 so it will be circle and let's add a padding also the padding would be 20. Uh, keep it 15 like this and also we're going to increase this okay let's add the border color to the black and after that for the hover uh, we're gonna choose this color to blackish again like this okay so now what we have to do we have to go to the, this and here in the navigation uh, we have to put a negative margin to this so let's put a minus 20 here and also for this we are gonna choose the minus 20 okay so let's uh, publish this ones and we don't want to show this pagination here so also we have to go to the content content go to the pagination here we have to show the none so just we have to show these arrows we don't want to show the pagination so let's publish this and after publishing let's move to the front end and let's refresh so after refreshing let's wait so you can see that our we have these arrows ready and also they are properly working right now just only it's page uh, hover effect is not working so let me go to the hover effect again and here we have to add a border color here also let's make this two and here we have to uh, choose this color let's choose this or oh, let's choose a red color for this okay so let's choose the red color here again okay so we have this all so if i check here it can see that it is working now let's publish okay let's go to our front end and we're gonna refresh it here and uh, after refreshing you can see that we have our slider and also this hover effect is working also this uh, slider is working also this hover effect are working okay so let's move to the next section where we're gonna make this uh, section so for making this uh, we're gonna use the grid uh, elementor grid so for that we're gonna add a new section here okay this section so right now you can see that uh, we have this for that uh, we're gonna choose this 1400 0, 0 max width and go to the advanced remove all the padding and below we have to add only 60 padding we don't want to add at the top okay so after that we have to just uh, go here and we're gonna choose a grid container here so we got to choose a grid and after that you can see that we have only one row here and so for that we have to go to the rows option and here we have to choose the one uh, fr this is the css property 
then after that we have to go here and here we have to choose grid categories okay grid categories here is a grid then after that uh, we have to go to the grid option here you can see that the grid is empty so let's remove all the padding then after that go to this and we have to add a container here and also we have, we have to remove all this padding and after that you can see that we have to add these images so for adding this image you have to choose this container go to the styles and here in the background type we have to choose the image so let's choose this image and after that we have to make this center and also this cover now what we have to do you have to go to the layout option and here we have to make this and after that we have to enter the height here so let's enter this height so let's keep the height 450 or let's keep the height to 500 okay like this and also if i go to this go to styles here we have this image so now what we have to do we have to add this uh, uh, border radius go to the styles go to the border and here we have to add uh, 20 okay then after that uh, we have to add this button and text here then after that we have to go to this and here we are gonna add our categories headphones then after that go to the styles and remove make this white and here we have to add this uh, pop pins then after that let's increase the font size little bit then after that you can see that then here you can see that this is properly visible but here our uh, this is not visible so what we have to do we have to go to the container and here we have to add a background overlay color to this so let's choose the pure black and here we can adjust its opacity like this so let's uh, do this and here we can add 20 now we have to add this heading design for all locations so you can add any random heading here i'm just adding a random heading here uh, ready for all your daily task so you can add any random heading here so let me uh, make this to so let's keep the height means the font size to 35 and here we're gonna make this like this and here let's uh, add the line height to this one okay and let's make this 700 bold like this okay so here we have to add a padding also so let me choose some padding of 30 okay after that we have to add a button here so let me choose a button and here you can see that we have this button shop now so shop now so let's go to this and here we have to add this button here so let's go to this and uh, here we uh, can see that we have this button shop now here so let me go to this and here we're gonna go to the here here we're gonna just choose the black color and let's choose the white color here and after that we have to go to the typography and here we have to choose the poppins font here so let me go to this and here we're gonna increase this so after that let's increase the font size okay then after that uh, here in the border radius we have to add a border radius of 100 and also in the padding let's add 15 and for the right and left we're gonna choose the 30 and for the left also we're gonna choose the 30 okay so you can see that this is ready just we have to increase the font little bit more okay so this is perfect now so you can see that this is white in color so you can also make this white here so let me go to this black and let's reverse this to white so write this so and also on the hover uh, we have to make uh, so let's make this red okay so let's keep it here uh, red color and for this we're gonna make this white and also here we're gonna make this uh, uh, bob effect if you want to add any more animation you can add this here so let's add this here grow okay so like this and then after that you have to go to this container go to the layout option and here we have to make this at the end okay and after that uh, here if you want to add little bit more padding we can add this like uh, here we're gonna choose the 35 padding okay so this is working now go to the container and uh, let's publish this one okay so this is published now what we have to do we have to just duplicate this so let's duplicate this and let's duplicate this again so we have this three cover sections here and also you can see that uh, i think this uh, padding is lit uh, weight is more let's make this 600 let's copy this and you can also paste this like this here okay like this and you can change your content like earbuds and here you can change the content uh, speakers 
and also you can change this content also okay so let me quickly change the images here so let me go to this and go to the styles option here we have to choose the image so let's choose the vertical image this for this and after that we have to choose the vertical image for this also so let me choose the second image to this one okay so this is uh, ready and here i think uh, we can also reduce some font size to this okay so uh, so let me quickly replace this okay so this is properly working so let me publish this and after that let's go to our front end and here we're gonna refresh this so after refreshing you can see that we have this sections here ready also and here you can see that this is a little bit more vertical in height so you can also add this more vertical by going to this and here you can add this here 600 okay and let me add this here also 600 and for the last one also we're gonna go to the layout and we're gonna make this 600 okay so let me publish this one and uh, let's go to this here and we, here we're gonna refresh this so after refreshing uh, you can see that we have these sections here ready okay so our these sections are ready so let's move to the next section uh, where we're gonna build our best seller section okay so for this section we have to first make the loop grid for this uh, elemental loop grid because this is a custom section so for that what we have to do we have to go to the uh, templates here and from here we have, we have to choose the theme builder so let's open the theme builder of the uh, elemental pro okay so we have to just go to the loop items and here we have to add a loop here so let's open this loop and we're gonna try to replicate the designs so here you can see that we have this image and after that we have this sections for that uh, we have to go to this let's close all of this so right now you can see that this is coming soon so uh, for that let's go to this and here you can see that we have one main container so this is the main container choose full width and here we're gonna add some padding of 30 let's add the padding of 40 go to the styles and here we're gonna choose the background color to white okay and then after that what we have to do we have to add a border radius also let's add a border radius of 20 then after that uh, we have to add a image here so this is the image so let me go to this and here we're gonna choose the uh, image from this and for this we have to go to the this option from here go to the the dynamic text so just choose this and from here we here we have to choose the featured image so from the dynamic text choose the featured image option so right now it is not visible but we are gonna make this visible so now what we have to do we have to just uh, copy and paste few things here so let's don't copy and paste let's we are gonna make this so for that we have to just uh, add a heading here below to this image okay so this value also comes from this text so we have to choose the here the woocommerce uh, and here you have to choose the product title okay so now let's me go one thing here we have to go to the preview settings and here we're going to choose the products then from here let's choose any random products let's search for it okay so let's apply and preview so it will automatically load the page with this preview okay so let's wait so here you can see that we have this image and also we have this title now we have to go to the pop-ins option and here we have to choose the font size and font uh, family of this so let me choose this to 23 make this center and also you can see that when we hover on any particular product the uh, the image grow and also there is some change in the saturations of this color so let me go to the here and here in the hover effect we have to go to the css filters and here you can reduce the saturations and also in the hover we're going to choose the grow and if you want to choose grow and rotate okay so we're going to choose the grow and rotate option like this okay so now we have to add this so now what we have to do we have to just duplicate this and let's go to this here in the dynamic tags we have to choose the product price like this and also go to the styles and here we're going to choose a random color okay like this let's decrease this font size to 20 okay and after that we have to add this button here so for adding the button we don't want to make this from scratch so just we have to have to copy this from this section so you can copy your particular uh, uh, sections from anywhere so you can see that here we have this so let's go to this here we're gonna give the background color to black and this one to white like this okay make this center go to the container layout 
and here we're gonna make everything in the center and also we're gonna re reduce the size between this okay so this is a little bit bigger so let's go to this and here we're gonna re uh, okay make this font size and here also if you want to decrease you can decrease it here also okay so let's go to the container here we're gonna add some gap more like this okay so this is perfectly working now so let me publish this and here you can do one more thing also go to the settings and here you can change the title of this so let me name this uh, product uh, uh, loop okay so let me publish and after publishing one more thing we have to do we have to go to this and here in the link tab we have to add a link here so when someone click on this it will go to that particular product so we have to choose the post url for this and also for the shop now we have to go to the dynamic tags and here you have to choose the post url also if you want to open this particular image in a new tab you go to the settings and open this in a new tab so uh, every time when someone click on this it will open the product in a uh, new tab so let's publish this and after that what we have to do we have to go to the home section home page and here we have we have to also refresh the page so let's refresh this and let's start making about this section okay so for making this section what we have to do uh, let me close this now let's wait for it okay so this is the refresh now we have to add a container here and here we have to make this 1400 and here we have to add a 60 no we have to add a 60 to the bottom okay then after that uh, we have to add one one more container for this gradient okay so let's add this and we gonna uh, yes product slider just rename this here and in the container here just to go to the advanced and remove all the padding and here we gonna add a random color let's choose this color from here so we have some similarity everywhere okay so let me choose this container and here we gonna choose the color and also for the border radius i'm gonna choosing the 20 and let's put some padding here also let's put the padding of 40 now we have to add a heading here let drag and drop a heading so this is saying our best sellers so we're gonna write it here our best sellers let's make this in the center make this black and for the font family we're gonna choose the popping font here and also let me make this 50 50 heading okay now after that what we have to do we have to add this grid here so let me go to the widget option and here we're gonna search for loop so it will show me the loop uh, carousel so just drag and drop this and from here we have to choose that loop which we have named so our loop name product just search for it so it will give you that loop okay so you can see that our loop is ready and also we have this so let me add this 20 right now you can see that we are showing four so we have to go to the content and here number of slides in the slides on display we're gonna choose the four okay so when we go here so you can see that this is also working like this okay so right now you can see that these images are up and down so we have to give a fixed image to this means fixed width and height to this and let's make this equal height and after that in the query you can add if you want here you can also make this three and pause on hour will be activated we don't want to show the pagination here i think so let me go here and see uh, yes there is no pagination only we have to show the arrows so for the arrows we have to go to the settings in the navigation and here you can see that we have these arrows so for the uh, here same like upper we have to add a pagination of minus 25 let's add this time and here for this also for the next arrow we're gonna add minus 25 let's go to this and here in the navigation we have to add a size 20 let's first uh, make this black okay let's make this 22 and after that in the border type we have to add us uh, we have to add a solid border width 2 and in the border radius we're gonna add 100 and in the padding we're gonna add a 25 20 or 15 okay then for the border color we have to choose this black again and for the hover color we're gonna make this red okay and for this also we're gonna choose this two and for this also we're gonna choose this red 
okay so here you can see that uh, let's make this three right now like this okay so this is working so let's me do one more thing we have to just go to this and let's publish this and you can also preview this from here so you can see that okay then after that let's uh, add a padding in this container again so for the padding uh, we're gonna add uh, 60 to the top and 60 to the below let's see okay so this is looking good now just we have to publish this changes here so let me go to the front end and we're gonna refresh so let's refresh this once so after refreshing you can see that our our bus seller is ready only we have to do one more thing we have to just uh, uh, change this image sizes here so for that what you have to do we are, uh, uh, you can also go to this and here you will find your loop product which are in the page okay so let's me open this one more time and now what we have to do we have to choose this image go to our image resolution choose the custom size here we have to add a width and height okay so let me give 400 by 400 and then and then apply okay so let's publish this again let's try to refresh this here okay so you can see that all these images are uh, have the same size and now these are perfectly aligned and also if i click on this slider it is totally working okay so our this section is also ready and if i click on this it will open this in the new tab and also if i click on this uh, it will open this here product here also it will open this product okay so this is properly working now so let me close this loop Okay, so our this section is also ready. Now we're gonna move to the next section. To the next section where we're gonna have this sticky image here. So for that, what we have to do, we have to just choose the container here. And for this, this time we're gonna go to this. And here you can see that this. Okay, so here we also have one main container, so which is this. So this will have the max width of 1400. Remove all the padding. And here also we're gonna go to this. Uh, okay so let me do one more thing we have to add another container here let's add a container here we have to write uh, let's name this sticky image box okay now to that go to this container here we have to make this full width and go to the styles and here we're going to choose the background image for this so background image would be this okay so uh, let's go to this uh, center center and make this cover then go to the layout and here we gonna make this 500 like this and go to the styles and here go to the border radius and here we're gonna make this 50 uh, 50 okay then go to this here we're gonna make this uh, 600 okay okay so this is looking good or uh, let's keep this 50 and also make this 550 okay so now what we have to do we have to add okay so now what we have to do we have to add our uh, this sections here so for this section we have to just so let me copy and paste this section from above so we have already built this section here so this is the power of the elementor that you can copy and paste any section from anywhere so let me copy this also we have to copy this below and after that we have to copy this and let's copy this here below now we have to go to this container and go to the layout here we're gonna make this like this so this is the CSS property. If you know the CSS language, you can easily understand what I'm doing here. So if you don't know the CSS, you have to just learn some CSS because for this, uh, because uh, Elementor is totally based upon the CSS Flatbox and Grid. Okay. So right now what we have to do, we have to just uh, increase its size. So let's name uh, change this for 50 and uh, here we have to just uh, so let me add a break here line break so it will make to the next line go to the styles and here we have to add some line height like this okay so let me put a gap here go to the layout and here we gonna here we gonna put a gap of 40 40 now you now you can see that if i go to the preview option you can see that our image is not sticky so i will show you how you can make that image sticky so for that you have to go to this container okay go to the style and here in the attachment we have to make this fix so whenever you scroll the attachment will be fixed in the 
behind so let's refresh this and we're gonna go to this and let's refresh our front end okay so after refreshing you can see that we have our this section also ready where our image is fixed behind okay so now let's move to the next section where we're gonna make the best selling product for that section we have to just copy and paste this section and just copy and paste this section here now you can see that okay so now we have to do we have to go here and here we have to add a 60 so it will give you some space so here we have to add a new products okay so let's change the heading here one new and for this what we have to do we have to just delete this and here we have to search for loop and we have to choose the loop grid and just drag and drop this below and go to the products and here we're gonna search for that loop product and go to the product loop now you can see that it has automatically fed all the loop here okay so this section is also ready now just we have to go this this okay we have to play this loop inside this okay perfect now we have to just publish this so let's publish this and now let's refresh our front end and after refreshing let me see if it is fast or not so after refreshing you can see that we have our new product and this is working perfectly fine and also these cool animations are working and if i click on any of this it will open this in a new tab particular image then you can add to cart and all of these are also working this is also working if i click on the shop now so this is changing so let's get back okay so now let's move to the next section where we're gonna make this support section so let's move to the next section where we're gonna make this support section so for that we have to go to this here and we have to choose uh, okay so we have to choose a flag box here again so let me choose this and here we have to again add one four zero zero and here in this we have to add a 60 to the bottom then after that you can see that uh, okay then again we have to add a new container here inside this so let me name this something support okay then here we have to add this uh, have this section then what we have to do we have to again okay so here we have to choose again a uh, three section layout so for that uh, let's uh, let's do one more thing okay so for that let's uh, choose this container a uh, border first so let me give a border to this and the border like this and border color would be something like this okay then after that let's give this container a, a little bit padding so the border will be visible here okay now we have to go to the styles and in the border radius here we have to give it 20 so let's see okay so our outer container is ready you can see that now we have to make this grids so for making this grid we have to use the okay so let's use this container this time and we're gonna make this full width okay so then we have to add this icon here so let me i add this icon okay then let's choose any random image so i'm gonna choose this and here after that uh, we have to add it uh, we have to add a text here below so for that we have to so let's do this here here and here we're gonna make this black and after that let's go to widget and here we have to add this so here let's add any free shipping then here we have to make this center and make this black totally and here also you have to go to container go to layout and you have to make this center 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 and let's make it 15 and after that uh, let's choose uh, this uh, now that we have to choose the text editor here and let's drag and drop this below okay so you can see that we have this uh, and little bit space below default space which comes from this i think this is come due to the line height okay then okay let's style it uh, here we're gonna choose the poppins font poppins font and let's uh, decrease the size of this 20 and here we're gonna also choose the poppins font and uh, let's increase the size to 2015 and let's change some color a little bit darker shade okay then after that what we have to do we have to okay so 
let's increase this font size a little bit like this and also we're gonna increase this size size will be for 50 and after that on hover you can see that we have this so when we go to this and here we have to add grow on hover okay we have to choose this container go to the styles and here in the border we have to add border radius of 20 so you can see that here we don't have okay so here we don't want to add the border just uh, let's uh, first go to the container go to this and let's add some padding here let's add 40 padding okay let me do one more thing let's duplicate this okay to one time more and after that now we have to go to this parent container go to the layout and we have to make this space between and center okay then you can see that we have this section here but uh, right now you can see that we have to make this center let's copy this here let's copy this here okay so here you can see that this is a properly have some border so let's choose this choose this go to this and here in the border choose solid and do this in in the right direction we have to add the border choose the one and let's add the border color let's uh, save this border color okay so here we have the border color in this container so let me save this border color so we don't want to copy and paste again and again so let's save this border color okay then after that we have to go to this inside container go to this choose this and here we have to choose the border color okay if i go and see here you can see that we have this so similarly we have to put this border color to every container okay so let's see so we have this so right now you can see that this is properly stacked so for that what we have to do uh, we have to we have to go to the this container and here we have to go to this and here we have to just remove the top and the bottom padding so if i go here you can see that this is properly working okay right now okay so let's play this type and let's publish this okay so this section is also ready let me refresh this one in front end just you have to change the content and this section is ready so now you can see that this is also ready just you have to change the content now okay so let's move to the next section where we're gonna make our client section okay so for making the client section we have to do one more thing okay so here we have to just go here here and choose this and here we're gonna choose one four zero zero and go to this and here and here you have to add 62 the bottom below now you have to add a white patch here so let me make this pure white okay or you can also keep it like this only so we don't want to make this white okay so now we have to just uh, uh, choose this and here we have to go and here we have to add up this and here we have to write some so let's write our our happy clients okay then after that what we have to do we have to add a carousel here carousel widget so let's again c a r o u s e l let's drag and drop this carousel widget okay so now you can see that uh, we have this so let's name this uh, uh, testimonials now we have to go to this uh, carousel and here you have to choose the one okay so let's choose the one and this is also one and let's remove other now let's go to inside this slide one and let's make this full width and make this uh, remove all the paddings after that you can see that we have the two section layout here so let me choose here two section layout and go to inside and here we're gonna write uh, image and review content like this so it will be easy to understand that this section is this so right now you can see that this image has some padding so let's remove all the padding and also we're gonna remove this padding from this section also padding now we have to add an image here so let's drag and drop an image and let's choose the image from the back end so let me choose this image okay and then we have to uh, add a border radius to this image also and let's me make this image 70% or 80% in size okay so here let's uh, okay so this is the testimonial 
okay so let's go to the testimonial and here we're gonna go to this and here let's put this subspace 40 okay like this so if i preview it here you can see it is looking good now what we have to do uh, let's make this 70 or we can make this 75 now we have to add uh, this uh, in that section so for that uh, we can do one more thing we can go to this here and here we can search for icon and let's drag and drop this icon here then again we have to drag and drop this so for that let's go to here and here we're gonna drag and drop a star ratings here okay and uh, after that we have this uh, so for that we're gonna drag and drop a text editor okay let's try to remove the line height okay so this is not the line height this is so let's go to this and here we're gonna add some negative margin like this okay then again we have to add a container here remove all the padding and here again we have to add a heading so let's add a heading and the name of this would be Jennifer Unix so let's uh, add any random name Adam Gills okay then after that we have to add this text here so for that uh, let's copy and paste this above and let's paste this below and after that let me uh, purchase the item oversized print t-shirt so I have to just change the contain uh, so let me name this purchase item uh, earbuds sonic 500 we can give some random name here and here we have to guys go to and choose the padding uh, means the bold part of this and now we have to go to this so let's make this little bit black let's have to change the colors and holes here so let me change this to poppins okay like this and here if you want to increase the font size you can also increase this and for this uh, we're gonna make this black and also we're gonna uh, choose the font size here and you can see that this has little bit smaller font so let me choose this okay now that we have to go to this particular layout box and make the center 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 and here we're gonna make this 10 so let's make this 5 okay then after that uh, you can see that now we have to go to this main container go to the layout and here we're gonna make this center center and center like this then we have to go to this and here we have to choose the quad option choose the quad go to styles and here we're gonna make this black Okay, let's increase and decrease the font a little bit. We're gonna choose the 45 here, and for this also we're gonna uh, um, let's go to this side, and here we're gonna add the spacing a little bit. So let's keep the spacing to this, and also let's increase the size of this to 20. Then after that we have to go here, and here we have to make this uh, like this. And here we're gonna make this uh, poppins. Okay, like this. Let's publish this once, and after that, you can see that our design is ready. Now, what we have to do, we have to just uh, uh, duplicate this slide. So, right now, you can see that we have this slide one, go to carousel, and here we have to just duplicate this again. So, we have two slides, and now what we have to do, we have to go to the settings, and let's make this two and let's uh, hide this for the navigation here again we're gonna use this arrows as the, uh, as we have used above so let me go to this and uh, here in the pagination we don't want to show the pagination so let's make it none then go to styles and here in the navigation uh, let's uh, uh, let's make this color first so you can see that in the 25 pixel it is coming now after that go to the border here we're gonna add the 2 pixel with this if and for the border area we're gonna make this 100 and for the padding we're gonna make this uh, 15 okay like this then you can see that we have this so here you can see that this is coming like this so you can what you can do uh, we can just add a line break here uh, let's add a line break here like this okay so this is not looking good now we can also do one more thing we can add a right uh, padding of 50 like this 
so let's add the padding of 150 like this okay then after that we have to go to this and here we can add uh, 40 okay so you can see that we have one more problem here so let's do one more thing let's add a container here and we're gonna uh, transfer all this above section to this container do this and for this also we're gonna do this okay now let's keep this container and here we're gonna make this like this and let's make this 30 so we have two container one container is for this content and second one is for this content okay so now what we have to do we have to go to the reviews count main container and here we're gonna add some 50 like this so let's see okay so now this is looking good or you can also add some more like uh, 80 or let's keep it 70 let's see okay so you can see that this is looking good now and also this is working now similarly okay so we have done this in the slide one so let me go to the carousel and we're gonna delete the slide we have just duplicated okay now again we're gonna duplicate this okay so this is duplicated now just we have to go to the slide 2 and here we have to choose the rent, uh, different image for this so let me choose this image here and also if you want to change the content you can change here uh, ruby peter let's name this ruby peterson and after that uh, we have to just go to the carousel here uh, let's go to the carousel and uh, here in the styles option and go to navigation and in the hover effect we're gonna choose the red image like this okay and also for the border color we're gonna choose the red image okay okay so let me publish this and let's uh, refresh this front end and after refreshing you can see that uh, we have this section ready and also when we click on this this is working perfectly okay and this is also working perfectly okay so our happy client section is also ready and uh, let's move to the next section let's move to the next section where we're gonna make our client logo section so for that we have to just go here and let's drag and drop this here again and this time to this so here you can do one more thing like here you can see that we have this section totally as same as to this section so for that what we can do uh, let's copy the let's copy this section from the top and we're gonna use this section to make this okay so here you can see that we need only the image so let me delete all of this let me delete this also okay and let me delete this and also delete this okay so now you can see that we have this now you can see that we have this 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 so only one thing is there we have to just remove this icon from here and inside this icon we have to place the image okay so let me go here and here we're gonna choose the image here okay then after that let's do one more thing here we're gonna uh, delete the other container okay then after that uh, uh, let's uh, duplicate this duplicate this again duplicate okay this is blank one so let me duplicate this here we have one okay one two three four five six so here we have four now we have to duplicate this two times and let's duplicate this okay so this is duplicated and for the last one we have to remove the border okay so we don't want the border here okay so this is looking good now what we have to do we have to just go here and here you can see that we have some padding i think so let me remove the padding let me have this pattern of 10 now we have to uh, just copy this from here and we have to paste this paste this in everywhere so let me paste this one by one okay so now we have to just go here and we're gonna replace this image let's choose this image for this one and for this one also we're gonna choose a different image so let me choose this image and for this also we're gonna choose a different image like this and for this also let's replace this 
and for the last one also we're going to choose the different image to this okay so let's preview this one okay so in the preview you can see that this is working only there is one difference that these images are big these are small but uh, we can do this okay so this section is also ready just we have to add a hover effect on this for adding the hover effect what we can do we can go to this and go to hover and here we're gonna add a grow and rotate and uh, let me copy this everywhere you can copy and paste the styles like this okay and after that let's publish this okay so let's refresh this one more time and after refreshing you can see that our this section is also ready and uh, we have this border here we have just okay so let's go this here we don't run the border so let's remake this none let's publish it again now let's uh, refresh our front end and here you can see that uh, after refreshing we have this and also we have the cool uh, our animation is working perfectly okay so our whole website is ready only just we have to make the header and footer now so let's move to the next section where we're gonna make the header and footer so first we're gonna make the footer so for making the footer what we have to do we have to just go to the templates and from here go to the theme builder let's open this theme builder here and after going to the theme builder we have to okay so let's go to the footer and here we're gonna add the new footer okay so you can see that for the footer we have this type of design so one two three four we have four sections here so let me do this and here we're gonna get, uh, remove all this so let's go to this flex, flex, uh, flex box and after that we have to uh, choose here 1400 0, 0 max width go to the advanced and remove all the padding add 60 to the top 60 to the bottom and after that what we have to do we have to make two sections here one section is for the upper footer and second section is for this second footer so uh, so let's go to this and here we're gonna add one container so one container so let's uh, rename this here footer and here we're gonna add a top box okay and similarly we have to make uh, remove all the padding and here we have to duplicate this and here we have to add a bottom box okay and after that what we have to do we have to just uh, okay now we have to just one two three four so we have to make four sections here so let's add a container okay then in here you have to make this like this so let's duplicate this container two more times like this and after that we have to go to the main container go to the layout and from here we're gonna go to row space between and make it center or make it start so it will properly stack from the top and after that we have to just make the first so let's add our image here here we're gonna choose any random so let's choose this okay then after that we have to uh, uh, make this size little bit smaller so let's give this 65 and we're gonna make this left align so here you can see that uh, this is left line now what we have to do uh, we have to add this address here okay so for adding the address uh, we're gonna use a text here so let's drag and drop a text here okay then after that uh, we have to just copy this so let me copy this from here and here we're gonna go to this and here we're gonna write this okay then here you can see that this comes then after that go to this and here we're gonna choose the color for this and after that we're gonna make this uh, pop-ins like this okay so this is done also let's make this 15 like this and after that we have to add this get directions button here so for that we have to add a button here again so let's drag and drop a button and here you can see that we are getting some this so let me make this like this okay then after that here we have to write a get direction so inside the button we have to write it here get uh, direction after that we have to go to this and here we have to choose the arrow okay or we can choose the angle here this angle and make this end and after that uh, go to this here we are gonna make this uh, pop-ins then we're gonna make this black or here you can see that we don't have any color for this so let me keep this transparent okay then after that uh, let's make this black 
and after that you can see that we have a border here so let me go to this and remove all the padding and in the border we're gonna choose solid remove this and in the bottom we're gonna add a border and this one do the border radius then we have to add a padding here below so let's add some padding 5 let's see okay so this is working now just we have to increase the font size little bit so let's increase the font size to 17 let's see okay so this is working here and let's uh, keep this now we have to make the social icon so for making the social icon what we can do uh, we can drag and drop uh, this social icon from the top and to the below and here we're gonna add one more suppose i want to add instagram also so let's add the instagram here and here we have to go to this official color we have to choose the custom and here you can see that uh, we have this type of so for that let's try okay so this is done and here we have to do this okay so then after that uh, what we have to do we have to go to the border type solid and here is for the border weight we're gonna choose the two and for the border you're gonna choose the hundred okay so now you can see that and for the hover color we have to again go to the primary color and make, make this white like this and also for the border color if you want to add all this also you can add this and here you can add the hover effect also so let's go to the icon and here we have to just uh, change the size of this 20 like this and also you can add the spacing here to 10 or you can add the 7 okay so now you can see that we have this image so right now we have this so let me choose this and from the left side also we're gonna add some negative margin like this okay so this is perfectly aligned to the left side and like this okay so you can see that this is so let's publish this in the entire side ones okay so you can see that we have some space here so for that we have to go to this Go to this and in the margin let's put some space of 30 and preview it so you can see that it is working fine let's publish and after that what we have to do we have to add this menus here so for that we have to add a heading here so this heading will say help so let me write it here help and after that we're gonna make this black also and for that we're gonna make this poppins okay so the size of the popping would be like this maybe 500 okay then here you can see that we have to add some to the top also okay like this then we have to go here and here we're gonna choose list and does drag and drop is list here privacy policy then then we have to add this content here so let me add this here and here we have to just uh, privacy policies okay then after that we have to just duplicate this one two three four five six seven times so let me duplicate this seven times four five six seven and just uh, we have to go to the text and here we're gonna do this uh, options and let me go this and we're gonna have the same size here 15 like this so we're gonna choose this 15 for this we're gonna go to this and add uh, 5 okay then what we have to do we have to add here return plus exchanges we have to just change the content here and then shipping privacy policies okay so let me quickly change this here shipping policy is like this okay so just you have to duplicate this several times like this okay so after that uh, we have to just uh, uh, okay so let me do one more thing let me publish this once okay then after that let's uh, minimize this and after that we have to delete the second do both row like this and for this we have to duplicate this and let's duplicate this one more time so here we're gonna write uh, quick links and for that uh, let duplicate some and here we're gonna write other links like home okay then here we're gonna write uh, about us 
we are going to write uh, blocks for this we are going to write services okay here we are going to write uh, contact and let's name some more shops okay so this is done now we have to just uh, publish this now let's uh, uh, go to our front end and let's try to refresh it and see if our footer is loading or not so let's go to below and here in the below you can see that our footer is here okay so right now you can see that uh, this footer has uh, this color so what we have to do we have to just go to this section and here you have to make this white okay and also for this also for this we're gonna make this white if I go here then you can see that we have this and let's go to this and let's publish this ones and let's refresh our front end here and after refreshing you can see that uh, our footer is here here you can see that we have some spacing problems so let's go to this and here also we're gonna put 60 to the top let's publish then let's refresh our front end okay then after refreshing you can see that we have this working and also our footer is working just we have to adjust this spaces a little bit so let's me go to this and here we gonna write sign up for sign up for email something like that and here we don't want this so let me copy this and here we're gonna paste this and for this we're gonna copy this content from here and after that go to the footer and here we have to paste this and after that uh, we have to just uh, add a form here okay so let's drag and drop this okay then after that we don't want this we only want this here we're gonna write uh, enter your email then after that you can see that we don't want to show the labels then after that uh, we have to go to this here we have to do and here let's add 20 margin to the top like this now you can see that uh, let's put 30 okay let's see okay so here you can see that uh, we have this type of layout so for making that what we can do uh, for that we have to go to this form here we have to choose the medium and for the button also we're gonna choose the medium then here in the width we're gonna choose the 25 percent and in the form fails for the width we're gonna choose the else 75 percent like this so let's see here you can see that this is looking like that now let's uh, go to our buttons and in the button here we have to make this black this is white and here you uh, we have this so we can go to this here we're going to write the typography of these pop-ins okay then see okay and after that you can see that this is properly working and also we have to go to the form and here also we have to just go to the uh, field option we can just uh, uh, change this here and here in the field we have to just uh, choose the poppins font like this okay so this is also done now let's uh, publish this final time and let's uh, refresh our front end and after refreshing you can see that this is our this is also now just we have to adjust the spaces so for adjusting the spaces this is very easy in elemental what you have to do you have to just uh, uh, go to this and just increase this like this okay then also for this you can just do it like that okay like this and let's publish and after publishing let's refresh our front end so here you can see that this is totally working fine and also this is totally working only this image is little bit uh, get uh, like this so let me quickly fix this we have to do this here we have to just uh, make this 50 let's preview it from here okay then here we can make this 50 again 
and in the left direction we have to add little bit uh, 55 and for this also we're gonna have this 55 okay so let's have this 52 52 okay so this is looking good now let's give this 50 and after that you can see that this is perfectly working so our footer is ready let's publish this once and let's try to refresh our front end and after refreshing you can see that our footer is perfectly working okay okay now only one thing is left that we have to make this below footer so for this what we have to do we have to just uh, go to this second container our and here we're gonna enter divider so let's enter a divider here here we're gonna may remove the gap and here we're gonna choose the border color from here this is the border color okay then after that we have to add this text so for adding this text what we have to do uh, we have to okay then we have to add a line height here so let me copy this from here okay we have this divider here so let me add a container here first okay then we have to just uh, paste uh, this container and here we're gonna remove all this here we're gonna write uh, copyright 2024 name of the website okay and then here we can write all rights reserved and in the copyright icon we have to choose this icon so let's choose this icon here okay so we have to choose the copyright icon from this okay let's go to this here in the icon we have to make this black and for that let's increase this and after that what we have to do we have to go to the text here we have to also okay so this is all good now what we have to do we have to add a container inside this so let's add a container inside this okay then we have to go to this here we're gonna make this like this okay we have to okay and after that what we have to do we have to okay go to this container and here we have to make this container 50 all the padding now inside this we have to drag and drop an image so let's uh, drag and drop an image here let's choose the image so here we have our all the logo we uh, images visa images like this so we have to just duplicate this one two three four five five times so this is three then okay let's duplicate this two times one more and here go to the container and here we have to make this space between and this would be in the end like this okay so now just we have to replace these images from here so let me replace this image and after that we have to replace the second image also so let me refresh this mastercard image then after that we have to replace the mx and one more image is left so let's choose this okay and after that uh, let's try to you see this you, you, uh, you can see that this is totally working fine now you can see that we have this space little bit below so we're gonna make this space to 30 and let's see okay so this is working fine so let's try to so let's refresh this and let's refresh our front end after saving so you can see that our footer is ready below okay move, move to the final part of the video where we're gonna make our header so as you can see that our header is sticky at the top so for making this so we have to make some menus uh, here so first to go to the awareness and from here go to the menus uh, then after that uh, here we have to add the final menu here we have to choose the uh, you can choose primary menu or just to create menu then after that we have to add some random menus here so let me quickly choose uh, uh, this menus we don't want to choose this so let's choose this then after that let's add a custom okay then view all here we're going to choose the about and I will show you how you can add this uh, when you click on this any section it will take you to that to that section so for showing this I am that I am going to add uh, one more menu here custom links here we're gonna give a CSS ID clients clients 
So this CSS ID will be used for targeting that section. So here we're gonna write testimonials and let's add to menu. Okay, so let's uh, like this. Here we gonna remove this my account page and instead of this, let's add a contact because website is not looks good without the contact. Okay, so let's save this menu. Then after that, what we have to do, we have to just uh, go to the theme builder here. So let's go to the templates and from here go to the theme builder. Okay, then after that, let's start making our header. So you can see that we have uh, this and also we have this cart icon. Okay, so for that, what we have to do, we have to go to this uh, header and let's add a new header here. Okay, so let's add a new header and let's wait for it to open. And after that, uh, Okay, we have to add this icon also. So right now these icons are static, but you can add here the links of all your things. So suppose you uh, suppose if you are using a wishlist plugin, so you can add this link here and also for this my account and for this search also. Okay, so after that, uh, let's go to this and here we have to choose this. And after that, uh, we have to make this 1400 and go to advanced and here you have to add 20 and 20. Okay, then after that you can see that we have this. So now what we have to do, uh, we have to add an image here. Let's add an image. And for that, let's choose a random, uh, let's choose this. Okay, then we're gonna make this like this. And after that, let's increase the uh, size of this, like this. Okay, so you can see that uh, this has some image like this. So let's put like here corner okay then after that uh, we have to go to this and here we have to add a menu <coughs> drag and drop this then here you can see that we have the final menu here so right now this is like this so we can go to this let's go to this width option here we have to choose the custom and let's increase this now okay so let's delete this Let's increase this now. 15 and after that we have to add this uh, here let's add 41 to this. Like this or you can do one more thing let's go to this uh, let's remove all of this remove this also and default we have to go to this and we have to edit the image because the padding is in the image so we have to just crop the image so let me go here and we're gonna crop this image to the corners like this. Okay, so let's crop this image here also. And uh, after that, let's uh, apply the crop and let's save. After that, you can see that if I select it again, so wait for some time, it will load it. Okay. Uh, okay, so you can see that this is done and now we can perfectly resize it from here okay let's go to this here we gonna make this center and center space between okay then after that we have to uh, go to this here we have to choose the background here we have to choose the sweep right go to this and here we gonna add this text and here we gonna choose the poppins font And here we're gonna do this. Here we're gonna add it five, uh, means 500. Uh, then after that, uh, we have to do this. Then we have to go to the main menu here, go to the hover in the pointer color. We have to make this black, black, and here we have to make this white. Then after that, what we have to do, we have to uh, give a border radius to this 100. Okay, so when I hover on this, you can see that this comes, and also. Uh, you can go to this or you can go to this in the styles here you can see that we have space between so let's add the space here pi Then now what we have to do we have to add a container here for our icons so Let's drag and drop this container and we're gonna make this at last so here We're gonna have this like this here. We're gonna choose the flow grow property and uh, Here you can see that uh, we have to make this like this so let's uh, make this 30 percent or we're gonna make this 20 percent okay then after that we have to add some icon i drag and drop this icon here 
and uh, the first icon will be our search let's choose this search icon go to this you're gonna choose this black after that we have to make uh, this 21 okay uh, then after that we have to just uh, duplicate this go to this go to layout here we have to make this space between like this and in the end okay then after that uh, we have to uh, enter a cart icon here so this is a menu cart so let's drag and drop this here let's put this at the end and after that you can see that we have this cart medium so from here we have to choose the cart solid and we don't want to show the subtotal and after that to go to the cart and uh, we have to go to this here we can change the cart color also we can change the cart size here let's increase the cart size and after that we have to go to this uh, uh, width choose the custom and here we gonna choose some custom custom to this okay then after that uh, let's do the inline auto here we have to have some padding problem here let's make this like this okay so now you can see that this is perfectly working only one thing is there that it has some border so we don't want to show the border here so we have to go to this uh, border width and make this zero then if i go you can see that this cart is working and if i click this is also working okay now just we have to replace this now let's go to this here we are gonna choose the heart icon for our wish list and for this we are gonna choose the user for our my account where you can link your my account page to this okay so let me preview this once and here you can see that this is here and here so we have to make this smaller so let's make this 10 go to this and this is space between let's see okay so the problem is here we have to click on this and we have to make this center like this so let's see okay so this is now working fine and we have to do one more thing we have to go to this and from here here we have to make this white and we have to make this header sticky at the top so for that we have to go to the motion effect then sticky at the top and let's publish from here choose entire site at save and close now let's go to our front end and refresh the final time to our website and you can see that our header is live at the top and right now you can see that there is one more problem that uh, here we have a little bit more space if you can see that so we don't want to have this space so for that what we can do uh, we can go to settings and we can go to styles and here we have to choose the same color for our header also so here we have to choose this let's publish and in the hero section what we have to do uh, we have to go to the top and here we have to remove this padding from the top okay then let's publish it again and uh, let's uh, refresh it final time now after refreshing you can see that uh, okay let's okay so right now you can see that this website is uh, perfectly working okay the header and footer are also perfectly working if you want to put some more padding to this you can put this like 25 and 25 so it will give some breathing space to the header so let's uh, refresh it again okay so after refreshing you can see that this is working also the slider is working all things are working and also our footer is working here okay now what we have to do we have to okay so final time we have to add this uh, link to the section so right now you can see that we have this section so let's go to our review section and in the review section we have to add a css id here the name of the css id would be clients so let's publish okay so now refresh this and after refreshing let's see so you can see that if i click on the testimony it will take me to that section now okay and also this header is sticky at the top okay so you can see that we have okay so here we have to change the visibility settings so let's uh, go to this open this in a, a, a new tab 
and from here in the visibility setting we have to go to the live mode and let's see the changes then we don't get this warning so let me refresh this the warning is coming from the theme okay so after refreshing you can see that footer is also working only there is one more thing we have this scroll to top button of this which is coming from the default uh, extra theme so if you want to make your own scroll top button i have made this already in my all websites so let me show you how you can add this scroll to top button also so we have so you have to just to open this uh, templates and go to the theme builder again and in the theme builder what we have to do you have to again go to the okay so let me go to the footer from here we can go to this footer here okay so now let's add okay so after that i will show you how you can add the mobile responsiveness and uh, uh, animations in your website okay so we are in the footer so here in the footer what we have to do we have to add an icon here so let's add the icon here and let's go to this and here we're gonna read this top uh, let's search it for arrow and here we have this top arrow or we can choose this arrow okay then after that we have to go to this and here in the position you have to choose the fixed and choose this choose this here choose the 40 and here choose the uh, 40 okay this will be 20 okay and for the footer color we have to make this uh, black or we can also make this red if you want so let's make this red okay then in the here we have to give an id so let's give the id of hero and let's publish now we have to go to the elementor home page and at the top uh, we have to give this the top section the css id of hero so whenever we click on that scroll top button it will re redirect us to the top okay so and we have to also deactivate the default extra theme footer so we have to go to the customize from here and after going to the customization we have to go to the uh, so we have to go to the global and in the global you can see scroll to top and after we have to deactivate this okay let's publish okay so let's me refresh this website final time okay so let's wait for it okay so here you can see that uh, this is uh, done and also we are getting this scroll to top button so suppose if i click on this it will take me to the top okay so now i will show you how you can add the mobile responsiveness in your website so i will show you only few sections i don't want to make the video long that's why so here you can see that let's refresh it one more time okay so uh, this is open now what we have to do let's wait for everything to load once okay so now we have to go to the mobile responsiveness and here you can see that our header is also not responsive so let me first make this responsive so here you can see that we have to just go to this and let's remove this okay and we have to add some padding like this and also we can go to this and we have to just uh, change the font size suppose i want to make this font size to 40 and also you can just re uh, remove the line height of this like this okay then go to this and here you can see that we have this so let's make this 20 okay so this is uh, done and in the same way you can make the slider responsive to all to all sections okay and after that suppose this section is also not responsive we have to click on this and just we have to go to this here let's add 60 and let's 20 and 20 to the left so this is like this after that you can see that this is also not responsive so we have to just click on this go to this and here also you have to add 60 then 20 and 20 okay just you have to change the text and all okay so right now you can see that here we also uh, suppose i want to make this uh, 45 40 so we have to just change this and this will become so right now you can see that uh, here we have the problem so let's make it responsive for the mobile so let's make this 30 and for this we're gonna add uh, uh, we're gonna add 45 and also for the line height we're gonna go to and like this and also if i go to this sex of layout here you can find that we have 30 so let's make this the scale is like this so uh, let's uh, remove a little bit more like this suppose and this is also have the more height so for that what we can do uh, we can go to container here you can see that height so we have to just uh, remove the height and make this like this 
and also you can see that this is not visible properly so what we can do we can go to container here and in the background overlay we can add the background overlay color to this also and let's add this color like this okay so this will be visible okay so in this way you can make your whole pages responsiveness and after that let's me show you how you can make the responsiveness uh, header here so let's click on this okay so after that you can see that so here what we have to do here we have to just uh, change the size and all so right now you can see that oh, let's make it zero and also we have this so for this we're gonna make this custom and let's uh, make this like this and for this also let me make this and for this also we're gonna make this custom here okay so let's make this 40 and for the image we're gonna make this 100 percent percent and here we have to just increase this like this 90 okay then here also we can go and uh, we can add this like this here we are getting the full width because we have made this grow we have to make this like this we don't want to make this grow okay then after that we have to make this 20 and choose this here we have to make this 30 50 or 80 100 so you have to just play with these properties so you will get the property here so let's me see okay so much similar so now what we have to do uh, let me do here and here we have to increase this little bit and if i go to this here you can see that we don't have any margin here also so let's add 25 10 25 and 10 okay and after that you have to go to the wordpress menu and from here we have to choose the full width and make this in the center like this also if i click on this uh, we can remove the gap from here or you can add a little bit gap like this and you can also decrease the size of all this okay so if i go here you can see that when i click on this we have these menus and also this is working okay so let's publish this so our header is also responsive in this way and also if you want to make the footer responsiveness we have to just to go to below and here you can see that we have our footer which is automatically responsive just we have to put some space so let me go to the footer and in the footer we have to just choose the main container and here we have to add uh, 60 20 30 and 20 and okay and for that image we have to make this like this okay so you can see that and here also you can see that this is like this okay so you have to just change the size of these images okay so in this way all the uh, our footer is also responsiveness also responsive so let's refresh it final time and let's see okay so if i go to this uh, inspect and if i go to here so you can see that our footer is responsive here means the header is responsive and if i go below and if i go below uh, let me show you the footer so our footer is also responsive here you can see that okay so in this way you can make the responsiveness of all, uh, all your section so let me show you the final the uh, animation part how you can add the animations in your uh, websites so then we have to go uh, suppose i want to add the animation to this we have to choose a particular section then here we have to add the suppose i want to add the animation here zoom zoom and we have to give a delay time here suppose i want to make the delay time here 200 and again choose this again go to the motion effect then add a, a slide in or slide down any what animation you want here just give the delay time mode so the first will come then this will come like that and after that we have to add this uh, rotate in and let's give this 600 okay so then after that let's add this animation in the containers so if i go to the motion effect and here if i go to this and here let's add slide up and this will slide up in 200 milliseconds 
and after that you go to the second motion effect and here we have to click on the slide up again so this will come after 400 seconds then this and here we have to go to the motion effect and here we have to add uh, slide up again this will come in the 600 seconds okay so let me publish this and uh, let's uh, refresh our final part of this website so let me refresh this and see if the uh, animations are working or not so after refreshing you can see that these animations are working here also if i go below these cards are also working okay so in this way you can add animations in the whole website okay so i will give you all the images and the csv uh, things in the video description so you can download those from there so uh, our website is fully working right now and so i hope you like uh, this website and if you like such type of videos you can uh, follow and subscribe our channel you can also download this project from the video description if you want this complete website rebuilt you can uh, have this website from my official website the link is in the video description you can buy it from here also okay so i will see you next time